Hello and welcome to RS Gaming Videos. Uh, I'm Ross and today I'm here playing the Volts Pack again with another tutorial. Now, um, today I'm going to show you how to make heat generators and previously in, you know, previous, the few videos I've done, I've done something like five now, uh, I've shown you how to make various different things including some of the stuff you see here um, and some of these power generation techniques. But um, a, a you know, a good a good clue for what I'm going to do here is the lava and the word heat in the in the heat generator name. So um, I'm going to show you first of all how to make it and then how to set it up, and it's going to generate power using the heat of lava. So let's first of all grab some iron ingots and redstone, and we're going to make some enriched alloys by putting redstone around iron ingots, and I'm going to make eight of those. So now I move to my next chest. I've got an iron ingot. That's all I need, just one. And I'm going to do this. Above and below, enrich alloy, and I've got enrich iron. Uh, so, as you can see by the, the few chests I have, this is quite a simple recipe. Now this is the last set of things I'm going to need. And the way I'm going to set this up, I'm going to make three. So I'm going to put three of each platinum ingot. Uh, I'm not going to show out to get those, you just get platinum ore. Uh, redstone down the bottom there, iron ingots either side, enriched iron in the middle, I only need three of the six I made, and enriched yellow either side, and there we go, three heat generators. So I'm just going to quickly grab some of this other stuff in this chest. Uh, the way I'm going to set these up, I'll show you first of all what these look like. So when you place them, they place facing away from you like that, which is a good thing to know. Otherwise, if they face the other way, then you'd have to be standing in the lava to place them. So, uh, let's just pick those up again. Now, bearing in mind what I just said, I'm going to stand here, put three of them in a row next to this lava. There we go, I'm going to get my standard copper cable. I'm going to connect all three of them together. And then bring this power cable over here. Now, you see, first of all, this, has, this battery box has got no power. Uh, and it is connected to these conveyor belts, but they're not running, as I say, because there's no power. So I'm going to put onto the input face, which is the red face of the the bat box. I'm going to put um, this this cable from the generators, and with a bit of luck, they should start generating. Uh, I'll tell you something I've done right actually. Um, I haven't set this up quite right. I'm supposed to have lava underneath the the uh, generators themselves. Luckily I've got some lava buckets that I was going to use for um, something else, but I'll use them for this. There we go, so that should now have a a permanent slow source of power. So it is sort of powering up. problem is it's all going to here, so if I break that you should see. I mean these are reasonably cheap to be honest. I'm not sure how rare platinum ore is, but um, Assuming platinum ore isn't too rare, then they're reasonably cheap, so you could probably make, you know, 15, 20 of them, and then you would have a decent source of power. It's very, very slow, as you can see. But um, one way I'm going to show you how to speed it up is if you get actual buckets of lava and put them in there, it makes a generation sound, and I can um, put them. I wonder what happens if you put them there. No, you can't put them there. So, uh, put them in this slot there, and it, it generates a lot of fuel, and you can see this number, that's how much fuel is in it, that's uh, how much lava I put in there. Oh, oh, fires, yeah, you've got to be careful of that. Um, I think the cables are flammable, actually, as well. Why aren't these connected up? I thought they connected up a minute ago. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so, as the fuel goes down, it's um, creating power, and you obviously you can use that slot to charge up batteries. So, um... Thank you very much for watching. That's that sort of sums up this tutorial video. Uh, there are more Vaults videos on my website. Go to rsgamingvideos.co.uk and click on the link to the Vaults tutorials, and that will take you to a page with all of our tutorials. Alternatively, you can find us on YouTube. That's RS Gaming Videos. Fairly simple, same everywhere. Uh, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.